Now, I believe I have time for one more story. Very short story, I think. Once upon a time, there was a great king named Genghis Khan. A powerful man. He enjoyed hunting and hawking. One day, coming back from a very successful hunting trip, he decided to break free from the rest of the hunting party, and he and his favorite hawk would continue down another path. The king was very thirsty. It was very, very hot that day. His hawk had been flying, just circling above, looking for prey, but finding none was just watching his king. The king came to a spring that he knew was there, got off of his horse, took out his mug, and went over to the spring that was just dripping down droplets of water because it had been a very, very hot summer. Well, the king filled up that mug of water and he was so thirsty. And as he started to bring it to his lips, a flash of brown flew right before his eyes and knocked the mug away. The hawk sat there and looked at him. The king was angry. He said, why did you do that? I was very thirsty. How dare you? He picked up his mug and he stood there again. Only this time he only half filled the mug. And as he brought it to his lips to drink, the hawk once again flew and knocked the mug away. The king was furious. How dare you? I shan't allow you to do this again. And he pulled out his sword. And he went and he filled up the mug again and he said, Now, Sir Hawk, we shall see who is the king here. And he filled up the mug, brought it to his lips, and the hawk flew and knocked it out of the king's hand. But the king just as fast, and struck with his sword, causing the poor hawk to die and land on the ground. That's what you get for your troubles. Not allowing me to have a drink? How dare you? The mug was gone. I will get my drink. And the king climbed up to where the spring was. And when he got there, he saw, laying in the pool, a dead serpent of the most poisonous kind. The king realized, the wolf was my friend. He saved my life, and what did I give him? The king went down. Picked up the hawk, wrapped him neatly in some velvet, and put him in a saddlebag. And rode back very sad and forlorn to the rest of the camp. And the king learned some very important lesson that day. Do you know what it is? Never, never strike out at anyone in anger. They may be trying to do you a good turn. Here ends the story. And also, ladies, I am Squire Lawrence, and you shall see me again at Bowl 30 over at the Apple Orchard. At this time, I must leave. I believe they're having a chess match, and they need someone to, what do they call it, be the master of ceremonies. <laughs>